Dear business partners and friends, I would like to extend a warm welcome to you for our today's event. My name is Sebastian Ritter and within the business unit Wood of the Diefenbacher Group, I'm responsible for the sales region Europe. As you know, traditionally we offer to you always a factory tour where we are showing you, our customers, the latest installed equipment. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic situation, this is this year not possible. So, the plant tour and as well as the Ligna will take place in digital form. Today, our host is the Sonai Arauco Group in Besco in Germany. Here in Besco, we recently modernized together particle board production. And I would like to hand over the word to Mr. Fatuns to give us a little bit of a picture of this project. Thank you. Welcome to everybody to the Sonai Arauco plant at Besco. My name is Armand Fatunt. I'm the plant manager of this site. Here at Besco, we have a long history of producing wood-based panels, particularly particle board, uh, for over 50 years. Today, at this site, we operate two main continuous press lines, both supplied by Diefenbacher. The first one is our MDF line. The second one is our new PB line that was built and erected as a brownfield project under the title of Besco 50+. And has been in operation since approximately one year. Mr. Fatuns, what was the most challenging part of this project? As you highlighted, it was a brownfield project. Yes. Of course, being a brownfield project, uh, we try to optimize the utilization of the existing infrastructure and buildings. In that process, of course, you have to consider a lot of factors, existing buildings, how to integrate, how to minimize the cost of the new investment and profit from what's already there, while at the same time replacing what has to be replaced and modernizing to be fully competitive. For our customers, short explanation, Diefenbacher, was doing a 3D scan of the environment and the existing holes and the whole project was done in 3D. What was about the startup? Were you happy? The startup, of course, is in such a project is always a very exciting moment and uh, exciting times with a lot of challenges, also during the pandemic, uh, during the commissioning phase and so on. Um, the startup was a great moment because um, after we had finished the installation and commissioning, Basically, uh, looking at the press, once the particle in-feed was there, we had done the, the connection, um, we switched on the line and uh, like in a plug-and-play situation, we immediately from the beginning got great sellable boards and could start producing. So that was, was really a great and very impressive to me also from an operational perspective. This is very good to hear. Can you give our customers maybe a short picture of the operational view today and uh, the board quality? Yes, so very important point that you are mentioning. As I said from the beginning, we received sellable boards and uh, one of the things that's really very impressive is the, the surface quality that we are um, achieving, considering also that we have connected to the existing particle supply. And um, uh, of course, this gives great, uh, uh, great efficiency um, advantages at the same time while receiving this quality. And yeah, overall, we're very happy with the, with the equipment and the performance. Super. Thank you very much. I think our customers are already very keen and interested to see the installed equipment. As I know, my, my colleague, uh, Mr. Christian Müller, is already waiting in the control room to start with the factory tour. So, Christian, um, please take over and show our customers the equipment of the particle board line. Thank you, Sebastian. Welcome here in the control room from Basco. I'm happy to guide you to the plan today. Let us see what we have here. Beside me, you can see our visualization of the whole installed equipment from Diefenbacher. Our first stop is the forming station. Let us go there. Now we are in the forming station where we're starting to make our high quality boards. The main parts are the swivel belt, the bunkers and the spreading head. Each of them include different features that allows us to make a uniform and homogeneous mat. And for the customer means that he can reduce his density, what's saving material, glue, and energy. And that makes money. I show you now the first detail. Follow. The 
The adjustable swiffing belts allows an even and constant filling of the bunkers downstairs, which avoids density difference in the bunkers. Any deviation will be automatically detected by the system and compensate. Here you can see our bunker scale, which we have as a Diefenbacher standard in each of our bunkers. The scale allows us to react in real time to any changes about the weight or the bike density. Also, with a new product start, we can reach really quickly the target of the unit scale and hold it. The boat surface layer wind formers are supported with a roller bed. With the roller bed, the material can discharge more evenly along and across the production direction. Also with the sieve and the roller bed, large particles like blue lumps are catched and discharged. Let us go to the core layer behind me. As you can see behind me, we have the correction module. With this, we can adjust also the forming for a better and straight weight distribution. Let us make a short stop here and have a look to our beautiful and uniform mat. You can see behind me the three layer structure of the mat with the core layer in the middle and the surface on top and bottom. The surface is very close and beautiful. The mat is now going to the pre-press and then to the press, where we have our next stop. See you there. Here you can see our almost 42 meters long continuous press, one of more than 40 sold CPS Plus systems around the world. The customer produced here panel thickness from 6 to 40 millimeters and in a range of the width of 2,800 mm to 2,070 mm. The main benefit for the customer is also to produce straight and constant panel thickness, which allows to reduce the sending amount, and that makes money. The main parts of the CPS are our inlet system, the outlet system. Between them, we have the modular frames with the cylinders and our separate heating and protection blade system. You can see also the chain and the steel belt. I will show you now more details on the inlet. Our advanced chain design with the proof double hinge infeed system allows a rapid pressure increasing and the optimum mat contact. Several systems helping the operator in keeping the production running at the highest uptime. One of the systems is our orthogonal adjustment, which changing the angle of the rolling rods in the infeed. That helps with belt alignment. Here you can see a small part of our press exhaust system, which help us to reach the highest environment standards. One goal was a friendly access to each of the nozzles from the wet exhaust. All of them are installed with a flow meter to detect any blockage and showing the operator where he has to go. Also in the system we have the inline scrubber, which ensure a high energy sufficient and clean separation of the wet exhaust gas. The parallel press gap system provides an even and constant press gap over the whole length of the press. Also the design allows to have idle pressure distribution in and between the frames for a close and high quality edge. Each frame is equipped with two distance sensors on the right and left to supervise our press gap. Also in the last area, in the calibration area of the press, the distance sensor bridge is placed, where we measure the whole deformation of the heating blade. 
As well with the information from the thickness measurement after the press, we can adjust each cylinder individually to create the perfect and final thickness. Downstairs, we have our sliding shoes. Different production types of thickness and quality changing the temperature of the press. The Diefenbacher design with the sliding shoes allows the press to expand and shrink with no stress on the heating plate or the cylinders. Behind me you can see our final boards, which are coming from the cutting area and going now to the cooling wheels. On the bottom side you can see our board breaker, which can handle the end cuts during a product change and the material can be reused in the process. Coming from the cooling wheels, the board arrived at the stacking station. In the next step, the STS storage system takes over the stack and transfers them to the intermediate storage. At the sending line, the press skin is removed and the boards are calibrated to the final thickness. After that, they are cut to size. It's our last stop, where the finished boards are prepared for shipping or laminated. I hope you enjoy our plant tour. Back to you, Sebastian. Okay, Christian, thank you very much for this interesting tour. I hope you all enjoyed it. I have to say one more time a big thank you to you for hosting us. It was a pleasure hosting you and of course you are very welcome. In case you have any questions, feel free to contact us. We are always there for you to move forward together and please stay healthy nowadays. Mm -hmm.